Let's begin with the minority leader, Haruna Idrisu, who has filed a motion to set aside the ruling of the first deputy speaker, dismissing his motion of recession on the 2022 budget. Joseph Osewu, who at the start of today's proceedings, insisted he gave a ruling during last Wednesday's parliamentary proceedings, which were characterized by chaos. According to the first deputy speaker, he gave the ruling and proceeded to ask the table office to amend the vote and proceedings to reflect a events of that day. But that was challenged by the minority leader who insisted that Jose Wusso did not rule on the motion and charged him to put the motion to a vote. Which you could not rule or you are ruling that there is a new position. Let me serve you notice, Mr. Speaker, that under Order 935, I will file a motion to question your conduct as speaker or as member for Bekwai, wherever is appropriate, because this directive you are given does not, and we ourselves will call the recording for scrutiny, and we will look at it closely, because as far as we know, Mr. Speaker, you are tempted to rule, and there was an uproar, and there was a suspension and subsequently an agenda. That is all we know. So, Mr. Speaker, I intend to invoke Order 935 that I'll, I'll serve you, I'll submit your conduct because you cannot operate with these standing orders at your whims and caprices. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Earlier, the minority in parliament served notice it will push for a parliamentary probe into the conduct of Jose Wusu, which they say led to the chaotic scenes in the chamber last Wednesday. According to the NDC MP, the conduct of the Bekwai MP undermines the standing orders. The comment comes after the first deputy speaker called for sanctions against the minority MPs captured in a viral video causing chaos in the House. He spoke on the probe with my colleague MFA Apau. I don't know. On the floor, some people have behaved what I will call unruly. I'll call unparliamentary. But when it comes to tensions, I don't see that. When we leave there, we'll discuss those things. When I was leaving the chamber on, th uh, on Wednesday, I was in working with some of the minority people, and we're discussing our respective views. There was no tension between us. Mm. I am sure that I'm safe in the house. I'm sure that even those who had been seen on videos doing things which I will call unparliamentary have themselves regretted what they did. I'm not sure anybody wants to be cited again, but I have no reason to fear my colleague members of parliament. We have been meeting the day after my ruling on Wednesday, on the Thursday, as I've just said, I called the leaders of both sides of the House and the directors of Parliament, and we met to discuss what some of the things that had happened after I had left the chamber. And that's when I said I learned that actually the, the whips on both sides have formed committees, including some of the people who were seen in the video doing things which are called unparliamentary. And they have reached consensus that those things will not be repeated. Let me say that, since I've been in a member of parliament, we have always been cooperative. Now, now I know we are cooperating quite well. If you recall, the other time when you interviewed me on this program, I said, what I see is that it does appear that the party outside parliament rather is taking hold and trying to direct how parliament's behavior should be. That, in my view, is where we're getting it wrong. I think members of parliament should stand firm and assert themselves. Whatever decision we come to, they will be held responsible. But the minority insists Jose Wusu should be held responsible for last Wednesday's disturbances in the chamber. Here is MP for San Erigo in the Northern Region and ranking member on the Communication Committee of Parliament, ABA Fuseni. One of the greatest disservice to Parliament, one of the most bizarre decisions ever taken by a speaker, was for the Mr. Speaker to say 
uh, there are 137 members, I can only, but I am counting myself. Mm. No speaker has ever counted himself among members of parliament. Mm. It hasn't happened, okay. even if you are a member of parliament. So the for moment, you, you Aisha, did that for a reason. Aisha, I'm just giving you an example. If you are appointed a referee to a match, in the same match that is being played, then Mr. Speaker is a referee. If you are appointed a referee to a match, in the course of the match, can you change over and be a player? No, you can't. Is it possible to be a referee and a player at the same time? No. So you see a referee who at a certain stage of the match will chase the ball and blast it through the net and he himself will blow the whistle, purr, <laughs> goal and say, go and pass. <laughs> How does a speaker, number one, get up and say he's not speaker? So if you are not speaker, the chair you are sitting on is what? Mm. If you are not speaker, the decision that you are taking, you are taking it in your capacity as what? And I was astonished because, Aisha, when uh, uh, Honorable Joe Sewusu comes to sit as member of parliament, let us assume Honorable Bagwin is in the house. When he comes, he sits as a member of parliament. Mm -hmm. So he takes his seat uh, in, 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 on the floor in the chamber. Yeah. Okay? Now, when he comes to sit as a speaker, when he's coming in, all of us get up. Yep. In reverence of the speaker. Yep. He goes to say the prayer for all of us, and we all f uh, uh, follow, follow him. So, is he saying that if it's Joe say so when he comes up, we shall get up for him? <laughs> shall we get up for him? Shall he, shall he, will he have the opportunity to go and say prayer for all, all of us to follow him? As a member of... And when he bans his government on the distance, all of us are enjoyed to quiet. Do you think that if it's Joe say so he can tell me to be quiet? <laughs> you see, so, so the, the difference is clear. What he did was illegal. Mm. It is well intentioned to set up a team to deal with others. But I told you, Asha, there are root causes of this problem. Okay. This committee, that so-called 20 member committee that they are talking about, yeah. has, has, has not dealt with the root cause of the problem. Mm.